Hello, this is my the Lenovo Flex something. I'm not sure exactly. I'll put it on the screen. Um, well, it's not mine. This is just like a computer I managed to get my hands on, um, which is kind of old and apparently it doesn't really work all that well. So I decided I was going to throw, throw a, a Linux uh, distro on there. It's the one I ended up going with is Lubuntu, um, just a lightweight Linux. Um, and this is my first time doing anything like this. So if I say anything that's just like not accurate or correct in any way, um, yeah, just blame my ignorance. I really don't know exactly what I'm doing at all. Um, but this was really cool. So this is actually a pretty sweet little computer. Um, it took a while to load up here, actually, is the annoying thing, though. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see if I had it somewhere. It took like two minutes, 52 seconds to boot up to that main screen and um, which is quite a bit. I mean, just because I'm used to like SSDs and stuff now. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you see me putting the USB in there. Uh, hopefully installing this was going to make it boot at least a little quicker and just be usable because I actually, I mean, I don't even have the login to the computer, so I couldn't do anything anyways. I could have reinstalled a Windows, but I just didn't think that would go over very well. Um, maybe I could throw the specs up on the screen. Maybe it would have worked. I don't know, but I really just wanted to play around with this. I wanted to, I wanted to see what it's like. I wanted to see what the buzz is about. So it's pretty sweet. Um, oh, another thing I was gonna say about this thing is it has a touch screen. Like it straight up has like, like it's an insane little computer. Like the thing, the screen folds all the way back, and you could touch it. It's pretty sweet. Um, and so I was worried that wouldn't work. But as you can see here. I'm touching the screen and it actually does work. They actually do just have like touch support in most of this stuff now, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is me just going through the launcher. This is just a bunch of footage I took. <laughs> Sorry, installer, not launcher. Um, and you know, whatever, there was like some issues. They wanted me to connect to the internet, which took me like a surprisingly long time to do because I didn't know where to connect to my Wi-Fi from. Um, but yeah, so I just touched through this stuff. I think I included a shot of like every screen you go through. There's this stuff about swap space, which I don't really know anything about. Um, sorry, people who know uh, stuff and what's going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just so I can so I can get my hand my hands a little dirty, you know. Um, it was just it was a fun it was a fun thing for me. Fun Friday. I, I tied it back in, guys. It's not. This series is alive, um, but uh, yeah, so uh, it, you could tell I'm just kind of rambling here. I'm just voicing over these clips because I have to go to work after this and I don't have a lot of time uh, to make this video, but I did record parts of this earlier because that's when I did this. I did this like on Monday or something. Very cool, very fun. Um, I'm realizing now I probably could have cut down on much more of this video, uh, but you know. We get a longer video just because, hey, if you're still here and you don't ever watch me, check out my videos and subscribe um, because they're pretty, um, you should really just see it for yourself. Um, but yeah, so here we are. I think this is like the legit not running off of the USB anymore, which is exciting. I really like it. And there's me showing off the touch, touch works. Which is cool. There's a giraffe transition. And then we get to this me a couple days later once I've put some stuff on it and like what is kind of use cases for this little computer now. Um, and we can see it boots up. I mean, I cut it out, but it boots up in one minute, 58 seconds uh, that time around, which is, you know, it's about a minute faster, which is pretty cool. Um, let me just. Loading up the little specs. Here's a little demo of me going to my website, flareone45.com. Check it out. There's nothing there. Uh, check out funfriday.com. Check it out. I am supposed to update it weekly, but I don't. Um, so what I, sorry about that. What I ended up doing uh, was getting Krita. I like to draw on Krita now is what I use. I used to use some other programs, but I've been using Krita. Um, and I had, I downloaded some software that let me um, flip the touchscreen input um, if I flip the screen and put here's a touch, uh, it's a stylus for like, you know, capacitive touch screens. 
And so this actually ends up being kind of a cool little drawing tablet. Obviously I don't get pressure sensitivity out of it, so it's not like super duper fancy. Um, that I could totally see myself uh, using this occasionally when I feel like it, especially as like a note taking thing. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, so here's like an on-screen keyboard I downloaded um, in case I don't want to flip it back to the real keyboard. And then uh, pa -pa -pa, here's like something I drew the other day uh, just in Krita. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have. I also have one more use case, which is I can put it up and display my task list. I have like a little task list thing I do now. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. That's all I have to say. You should try out Linux if you ever get the chance to. I don't know what I'm putting here uh, because my footage is, is, is over. So I'm probably putting some, hopefully some interesting images. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Again, if you made it to the end of this, why don't you check out my videos. I upload a video every week. And I do some weird stuff sometimes. This time was pretty normal and pretty cool. I hope I can mess around with Linux some more. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.